Hey everybody, come on in. I'm looking for my weekly home blessing stuff. And I almost fell out of my chair. Yeah, I got it right here. Come on in. Yeah. Uh, this morning, Ben had his, uh, supposed to be his last oncology appointment. And his blood count was too low and they couldn't do it. So we've got to wait till next Monday. And then we'll see. Yep, got to wait till next Monday. So I'm going to need to go home this week and vote and then come back next Sunday. Yep, he's got a procedure tomorrow to take the fluid off his abdomen again. And so we just got back home. He sold his first two things on his um, marketplace site and he is excited and it's a good deal so i have a cup of coffee it's a big cup of coffee <laughs> it was great to see ben's face yeah it was he's real picky about his pictures <laughs> anyway come on in when we get 200 people here we'll get started uh all his appointments are messed up now because he had appointments for next week and now he's on the phone right now trying to change all those appointments so that we can he can uh, get things straightened out so I'm going to shake the box and I'm going to pull a little First thing we always do is we grab our sheets off our bed and let's get them in the washing machine. And I don't know where my timer is. There it is. It's right in front of my eyes. Timer. Set the timer for two minutes. So grab your sheets and let's get them in the wash machine so that um, you can have clean sheets tonight. Yep. Once a week. So here we go trying to go I got mail that's come in and yeah let's get things done going to grab the sheets now so I'm gonna sit here and talk to you a little bit about keeping up with your calendar there's Miss Kathy but I have a funny story to tell you at the doctor's office, at, at the oncologist's office, it, it was just a, a house full of women, I'm telling you. Then they're all just so sweet. So this was going to be Ben's last day. So we went by Pop's Donut Shop just down the street and picked them up two boxes of donuts, assorted donuts for them. And we went in and we took them in and so we took them in and told the ladies in the infusion part of the clinic that um we, he wasn't going to get to had get wasn't going to get to ring the bell so ringing the bell is a big thing at these places your last treatment and so we this one lady said you know the receptionist in the other office loves you and I said how does she know who I am and the lady said she just does I mean it's just funny so I went back over to the other side and her name's uh oh there's the timer there's the timer okay I'm gonna stop it right now and we got the sheets going I'm going to draw another one out of my little box. I got one right here. It's purpley. Gather up all your trash in the house. All the trash. And the secret to gathering up trash is having trash bags ready to go. Ready, set, go. So I went over to the other window. And she's just as sweet as she can be. And uh, her name's Chastity. And I said, Chastity, why didn't you tell me you were a fly baby? So I got, I promised to bring her one of my books. So I will, um, 
send her one of my books or I'll get Justin to send her one. But maybe I'll, I'll, I'll send it to, I'll pick it up and take it to her. Ben's, he's telling his Alexa to remind him about stuff. That's a good thing. You know, when you're retired, it's hard to keep up with the days. So Robert has specific cups that he uses on certain days of the week. And he has certain things he eats for breakfast. So that's how he keeps up with what day it is. It's kind of interesting. I learned a lot from Robert. I look at my calendar. So having a calendar that's handy, and I don't even have a calendar here except on Ben's wall, and I can't take that down. Anyway, so we've got 43 seconds to gather up all the trash. Every room needs a trash can. I have one in here, and it's handy. Having a trash can really is handy. Yeah, Chastity's a fly baby. And she was so embarrassed, and I said, well, I should have made my picture with her because they all love that. So maybe I'll do that next time. We'll go back next next Monday. We got to go back to the clinic. And what's weird, y'all, is this clinic, we knew it was a sign when, we, when Ben heard what the address was for the oncology clinic. Okay, we've gathered up trash. Instead of rolling the dice, we're drawing something out of a hat. Okay, this says vacuum or grab your carpet sweeper. Grab your carpet sweeper. And let's, just the middles, folks. Just the middles. You can do it. You can do it. So, where was I? What was I talking about? I don't know. <laughs> but when, what was I discussing when the timer went off? chastity and oh yes so the the boulevard that the oncology clinic is on is cheryl boulevard ben's last name is cheryl and the street address of the oncology clinic are the last four digits of my phone number now isn't that the funniest thing ever and, and Ben took a picture of it and he said, you know, this is meant to be, this is meant to be. Now, Dr. Lee is, is Ben's oncologist and he told us all about, he must have, a, he's from China and he must have a major in immuno, immuno, immunology. And he was telling us all about the coronavirus and other viruses and other deadly diseases. And it was quite interesting. He's written a lot of papers. So I'm going to look up some of his papers and read them and tell him I've read them next week. But Ben's white cell count was a little too low. And so we got to got to get it up this week in hopes that he'll be in good enough shape next week to, to have his last, last one, last uh, chemotherapy. So we'll see how it goes. He does have a treatment tomorrow. 15 seconds on the vacuuming, y'all. Getting ready for the next one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Don't know which way to go. There it is. Put your vacuums down. Put them away. Let's put them away after we get them. Let's put them away when we get them out. That keeps us from being able to follow our steps all around the house. So, here we go. I'm grabbing one. And this one is, grab your feather dusters. Yep, grab your feather dusters. And we're gonna go around the house and we're gonna feather dust. Now, if you hadn't heard, we have feather dusters back in stock, y'all. Get them now. Get them today. Because they are beautiful. They're a little different. They got uh, still the most beautiful feathers you've ever seen, but they're sort of multicolored. And you're going to love it. So ready? We're, we're dusting. 
You can, I can dust my whole house in two minutes. Ready, set, go. Yeah, the Dr. Lee's pretty smart. We were so happy after the last time we were there. Um, the the uh, doctor's assistant, nurse practitioner, um, she just said, you know, how, how wonderful the news was that the CAT scan did not show any evidence of any masses. And she didn't much think that he'd have to have the surgery. But Dr. Lee, it's good cop, bad cop, you know. So it been, been two weeks loving this message and then um, right now, he said, they just burst my bubble. I said, no, you knew things were st there was still a problem because your tummy was feel filling with the fluids from the cancer. And he said, yeah. I said, it's, it, we got a lot of common sense, Ben. We got a lot of common sense and we understand this surgery is gonna have to happen. Yep. So Dr. Lee was telling us about the coronavirus and how he didn't know if it, if it got rampant in the United States, if, if uh, our government was strong enough to shut down a city, stop people from going in and out and get people off the streets. He just didn't know if, if we could do that because we have such freedom here. But you can do it if you're going to save some lives. So y'all keep being in your prayers. Here we go. Let's stop that one and grabbing it out. Grab a purple rag or a silver rag. Get one wet and one dry and we're going to do our windows and mirrors. And you're going to love it because everything is going to be sparkly shiny. Ready, set, go. So being prepared. Now, Ben and I are washing our hands like crazy. Wherever we go, we wash our hands. You know, we use hand sanitizer when we get back in the car. I just hollered down the hall at Ben. I said, hand sanitizer, do it on your hands because his, his white blood cell. See, white blood cells is what fights infection. And if your white blood cells get low, you don't have anything to fight infection and the least little cold can kill you. Yeah, I missed this morning, Brenda, because we we had to be at the oncologist office at nine o'clock and it usually takes a couple of hours and while Ben's taking the infusion, I'm usually in the car and I do a show at 11, but I couldn't do that today because we were, we were still talking to the doctor. And then we had to make a delivery and we stopped and got some breakfast at my favorite waffle house. <laughs> yes, it's called The Stand. Stephen King's book is called The Stand. And it is, um, if you haven't watched it, you should watch it. You should watch it. And there's another book out about viruses and I'm a Walking Dead fan, which I didn't see The Walking Dead last night, so nobody tell me what happened. Uh, I didn't see it last night and it's about a virus. It's about a virus that attacks people's brain. Yeah. So folks, we gotta prepare for, for taking care of ourselves. We need to supply food so we don't have to get out into the germs. We need to cook at home so let's take care of ourselves. Let's do what we need to do. Let's not spread any germs. We have a supply of masks that we can wear and rubber gloves. I'm gonna grab one more. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna set the timer for two minutes. This is a two minute weekly home blessing. 
and we're going to gather up all the magazines and if you don't have any magazines and catalogs that need to be recycled then start pulling your hot spot apart because I know you have one now when we got home from the doctor's office we had to feed the birds and the squirrels because that's Ben's whole day revolves around watching the birds and squirrels So let's recycle those magazines and all the papers that you have on your hotspot. Let's go through those, put the bills where they belong, preferably in an office in a bag, and then that way you've got them ready to go when they need paying. Yep, yeah, anybody that goes to, to the hospital, they do need to change their clothes, wash their hands, but we didn't go to the hospital. We went to the infusion clinic and it's, it's pretty clean. Yep. We love the squirrels. We had a squirrel get caught in a feeder not long ago and it was scary. I was afraid it was going to die, but I got it out. It wasn't easy either. It tried to bite me. Yeah. He's, he's proud of his little old backyard. So 30 seconds on recycling those magazines. 30 seconds. Can you believe we can get so much stuff done in just two minutes at a time? And the last thing we're going to do, as soon as the timer goes off, we got 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Yeah. Squirrely squirrels. They got his little foot hung. We're going to call him Gimpy. Our last item for Weekly Home Blessing. Oh, Kathy's sending me a message. Foods that help increase white cell count. Mushrooms, kale. Hmm. I'll have to, I'll have to look that up, Kathy. I can't look at it right now, but we, I will do some research on that. I thought there had to be something. Justin did too. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mop. So grab your mop. If you haven't seen our new purple fly lady mop, then you got to check it out. Check it out. So we only have one more blessing. And it's mopping, mopping your kitchen floor, mopping your living room floor if you have hardwood, mopping your bathroom floor. Just go after it fast like you're mowing the yard. Up and down and up and down and up and down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done. That's all you got to do. And I'll be back on here in a couple of hours. A couple of hours, I'll be back and we'll do tea time. Yeah, we'll do some tea time. Another minute to go. And then it's up to you to get your sheets back on your bed after they've been put through the laundry. Because it's Monday and it's Weekly Home Blessing Day. Yeah, it's the last week of the month. We are in Zone 5, which is our living room. So you can do a little extra detail cleaning in your living room. Spend five minutes. That's all you got to do. And you're going to love it. You're absolutely going to love the way your home looks and feels and smells. Yep, you're going to love it. So 25 seconds. 25 seconds. 20. 20. I don't know... I haven't looked at email in a day since I left last night. There goes the timer. So y'all have, have your, you've blessed your home. Get your sheets back on your bed so you have a place to sleep tonight. And <clears throat> you're going to love your house. You really are. And you're not going to be afraid to open the door. We have a different pack. 
the complete cleaning kit is no more. We have a new package called the Ultimate Cleaning Pack, which has a lot of the same things in there, except we've got our new purple mop in there and purple rags. It's our purple power pack. So check out our, our Ultimate Cleaning Kit. I call it the purple power pack and because it's got all purple stuff it's so cute i wish i could show you a picture i don't have my ipad here or i would pull it up but somebody put a link and <clears throat> we will get some things done anyway i love you all i'll see you at three o'clock and i'll get this show uploaded and other people are going to want to bless their home too. Talk to you later. Catch you after a while. Bye.